hopefully you don't mind a little clipper. Put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. We'll be back with my hat. Learned that the hard way. Hey fur family, Kylie from Furology. We are here with Mr. Ollie, who is a border collie and he's a gorgeous boy. Hello. Now, this is our um, first time meeting, so we're just kind of getting to know each other still. We're in a bit of a rush, we're just going to get straight into it because we've got a lot of work to do. So he is, um, he's a beautiful boy, he loves swimming and uh, just living his best doggo life. But he is super, super impacted all the way in his back end here. His front end's like, he, he is not bad, his underside's a bit of a mess and through his chest. A um, little bit around his ears, quite a bit around his ears actually. That's a bit of matting, isn't it? Um, so normally I would just go in with my clippers and shave a lot of this out and then like from the back end and then just tidy everything else up. But we're going to have a crack at de-shedding some of this. Um, one, because it's good to see what happens when you do it this way rather than just shaving it out. We'll see how much of this shed we can actually get out. Um, and uh, two, because I haven't done it in a long while, so we'll give it a go and see what happens. Hey, Mr. Ollie. Um, he's a very, very sweet boy, and Mum says he loves water, so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to have him in the bath. So um, we'll just get cracking on and get going. So Ollie is nine years old, maybe a little bit older. He's definitely on the older man's side. Um, he does have, um, in this ear, you might see it as we're going along, he's had a big hematoma in there that hasn't, um, it's healed, but it's had a big effect on the ear. So that ear is... Uh, very chunky and um, it doesn't have a lot of movement in it probably from the loss of circulation with the big hematoma in there um, the hematoma is all gone but that ear has frequent ear infections and things like that so we're going to try and not get water in there I'm just going to get a clean washcloth for him so instead of spraying his whole face down we'll probably just use a washcloth to give him a wipe over and clean him up all right I am just going to get started so in the bath I've got um, a lot of de-shedding shampoo, uh, clarifying shampoo and then I've added conditioner this time around as well because we're going to try and um, use that conditioner to you know get the hair all slippery and moving around a little bit as well. Not too much, it's not going to it's not gonna make a huge difference but it'll be fun to see what happens. So first we're just going to get in soaking wet in all of this shampoo. Try not to focus too much on moving the hair at this stage. That's not what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get it wet everywhere. Um, his tail is a big, 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 big mess. So I dare say we're not going to be able to salvage too much of that. A lot of hair in here. If we could get it all out, it would be amazing. But so he's got a good temperament with the brush and the water, which is why I'm more willing to give it a go in comparison to a dog like um, in Oak's video. I just we don't even bother. We just trim him down and keep him nice and short. Um, he, he does not tolerate the brush or the blow dryer and he's only just coming around to tolerating having his bath. So you've got to work around the temperament of your dog and what you know about them. So being the first time I've groomed this dog, I'm probably being a little bit ambitious. But, you know, you've got to try these things sometimes. So, we're just trying to get the water into that hair to start with. It's very thick. Yeah, 
baby. You're such a sweet boy. Isn't he so good? It's all business. Mum said he usually just, you know, so he wakes up, how does he go with the, um, the bath, the brush, the blow dryer. Mum said he usually just stands there and doesn't look at you. <laughs> Acts like he's a little bit mad, but just stands there. So uh, he is just here for business, getting his bath and that's it. Don't, don't shake off. You don't need to do that yet. So just being careful coming up around that ear, but we do need to get his neck area soaking. And pour those bubbles. So I see this really commonly, and um, you might be wondering what, what causes them to get so matted like this. If I had to give you one reason and only one, I would call it swimming. So they go swimming and they get all soaking wet and um, they just don't dry out quick enough, but they go and sit down and snuggle up for a rest and a sleep and all the hair loosens up while they've been swimming and then they have their normal shedding and it just kind of all gets stuck together in there rather than just freely falling out. So if you do have a dog that does a lot of swimming, you want to have a bath for them like a border collie, especially like a indoor house pet border collie. If they are a dog who does a lot of swimming, it sounds like a lot, but you want to give them a proper bath every two weeks. The shampoo, a good clean down, get out all this excess hair, get, get them all the way 100% dry no damp hair, like the feet is okay and maybe a bit around the face. But once they're 100% dry, you need to brush them all over and get rid of as much of that hair as you can. And separate all of the tiny little hairs so nothing's stuck together. And then the enormous amount of shedding that these guys do, it can just fall out rather than getting caught up in there and creating these big messes that we're seeing here. So just making sure that this is where that really thick hair is, is it goes all the way down to the skin and getting into those mats there. And this hair is actually starting to move quite well. So, you know, we might actually have a chance that cells are doing quite a bit of this. We might have to right in the back do some shaving, but we might be able to salvage most of these legs and the hip area with a bit of luck and some hard work. but not a huge amount. They're delicate underneath all that hair. So it takes a little bit longer than using like a, you can get deep shedding nozzles and just kind of blow everything out of there. So they can be pretty full on to the dog. I'm just gonna turn this guy up. It gets a fair bit of force going, but nothing, it's not, um, painful on the skin or anything. I have looked into um, like those de shedding, I'm sorry, that's pulling there, isn't it? De shedding nozzles. They're really very quite expensive for what they do, if that makes sense, and how often I would use it. So I just haven't really bothered, to be honest. I can achieve what I need to most of the time with what I've got. Just need to be careful, so you can see 
that's his good hair and that's all that old hair. I'm trying to get all this old hair out without pulling too much on his good hair. And as tempting as it is to just kind of yank at it, we can't do that. We've got to keep easing it down. Let it come off on its own. just leave him um, sit here for five minutes we'll hang out together and have a chat and he'll get to know you yes oh sweet boy Mwah. we'll have a little chat and uh, once he's soaked for a good five minutes we'll pop back okie dokie Ollie here has had oops, turn the bath on a nice big soak shuffle your bum around shuffle stay there that's fine good boy I'm gonna let him sit 
just while I de shed that out down to fat.
slowly keep working at it. through that front of the leg, so now I've just got this big compacted booty area here, which I honestly don't think we're going to get through. I would like to be super pleasantly surprised, but that's a lot of hair there. And it's not um, freely moving, it is just so compacted. Portugal, Portugal. Good boy. Good boy. Try and hang in there, mate. I know it's such a lot to do. Okay. 
that's going to be one of the worst tales I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm pretty good at salvaging tails, but I don't think we're going to make it on this one. Come on, darling. Bring your booty this way for me. Stand up. Up. Come on. Oh. Up, up, up. Up. Good boy. Fine. Try hanging that thing, darling. Oh, that's going
have the blow dryer. The blow dryer might save us. I don't think so though. So yeah, the reason why I wanted to do it this way in this particular video was more or less to kind of show you why um, the decision might be made to shave uh, partially or all of your double coated dogs. So we do get lots of um, comments about not shaving double coated dogs and ideally, yes, you would not shave a double coated dog. And the reason is because um, the guard hairs take about 12 months to even start growing and about four years to be at full length. So the guard hairs are those top shiny hairs that you see all this beautiful shiny hair. So when you cut them, yes, you are damaging the coat in a way that it'll take a, about four years to recover from. If that coat is properly baked, dried and brushed on a regular basis. Um, that's for Border Collies. I'm not 100% sure if that's for all breeds, it's just what I know of Border Collies. But when you look at what we're going through here for this guy, obviously you want to try and salvage the, the top of his, the, like the main body and trunk of his coat. The back end, however, will be all thick and fluffy within like 12 months. It will grow back in quite quickly and not really struggle with damage the way that the main trunk of the coat will. So when you might make the decision to shave them off is when trying to work through this smart. So he's been here for a while already in this bath. He's already had enough of that. We've got a blow dry him yet. And then we've got to try it still to get the rest of that coat out, whatever doesn't come out, which is probably going to be quite a lot. Whereas at the beginning of the groom, we could just shave out that booty, get him washed, dried and brushed out and on his way. So this way we'll still be able to salvage more of his um, rear end than we would have if we didn't do it. So it's not that we've completely wasted our time. And he, that um, uh, compacted coat came up quite high and we've managed to push it down quite a bit. So, you know, we've definitely achieved something. that temperature again to make sure it doesn't get too hot. Swapping over to our rinsing water. Yay, clean water! So you can see we've still got um, quite a lot of hair out of there. It's a plus spot. Just give this beautiful little face a quick wash. We don't want to touch this other ear really if we can help it. That is, his vet looks after that. So there's no need for me to go fiddling around in there. And 
but I'm not going to put any moisture in there either. Knowing that he is highly prone to ear infections and his vet is taking care of him, I'm not going to get in there and add moisture or cleaning products or anything else that can irritate the skin. They can continue on with their normal vet care and um, that's what's best for him. Because imagine saying, oh, I took the dog to the groomer and now he's got like a double ear infection and he's terribly ill. That would just suck. reduce the amount of the risk of having a uh, build up of residue left on his skin that might cause irritation. We did have obviously some good chunks of hair come out but not a huge amount. So you might see a big matted dog like that and think it would be such a satisfying feature but reality is not really because it's not going to come out. put a little bit more into that tail if we can loosen that up a bit would be great jug real quick.
So what we're going to do is turn this off. I'm just going to go get the um, table set up with his bath mat and a towel uh, and let him drip for a few minutes just to get some of that water out. You can see it's all just kind of running off on its own and um, we'll pop back in a minute and I'm going to spit dry him in the bath here and his hair's going to floof everywhere and it'll be a great big floofy floss making time. Yeezy woo. All right, we'll be back in a minute once we've got everything ready to go. Alrighty, I have my um, very attractive, hang on, there we go, my very attractive hat on, looks amazing. Got my little net to um, help protect me from some of the hair that's going to blow around everywhere. All tucked in, I learnt the hard way that if you don't tuck this in, um, it just blows up inside. So, learnt that the hard way. Now, we are going to see how he goes with the blow dryer. Might be that he doesn't like it. I don't really know, to be honest. Mm. First time grooms are always um, just working things out. Uh, blow dryer is a lot though to take on, so. <clears throat> uh, cue some music, Deli Sparkles, here we go. <laughs> So just bear with me for a minute, I'm going to move him over to the table. Okay, here we are, on the table. I did forget to get a towel. We get a towel for you. Okay, so he is still super wet in the back end because he just doesn't want me with the blow dry there or he doesn't want to stand up. So we're going to use my trusty little belly band and hike him up a bit. So we can get in and get his booty all dried. Come around. Mister. He doesn't want us. So we can see all these um, chunkies of hair that we need to deal with. Come on, baby. Up you get. You can do it. Up, up. Come on, Ollie. Up, 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 up. You gotta get up. Come on, up. Come on. Up, 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 up. Good boy, good boy. Up. Get up. Oh, mister. Come on. Come here. Come on. Oh, there's hair in there. Want treatsies? Nom noms. Ooh. Come on, up. Up. Come on, up you get. Up. Up, up, up. Good boy, good boy. Stand up now. Oh, there we go. What a good boy. Nope, we're gonna stay up. Come on, don't be a potato. Come on, I don't want to accidentally hurt you with my watch there. Up, 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 up. Yeah, don't get grumpy at me. You're the one that's not standing up. Up, up. You gotta get up. This is not good because you're gonna end up biting me because it hurts. Up, stand up. Up, Ollie. Come on, Ollie, get up. Come here. What a rat bag. No, yeah, I know. Stand up. Stand up. I know you're an old boy. Up. Uh, up. This end too. Thank you. Here, you have that. Good boy. Oh. No. Oh my lord. Okay. There you go. You're up. It's not optional now. Stand up. Stand up. You have to stand up. Oops. Which way did that table just go? No way. Oh, Ollie. Ollie, come on, stand up. Stand up. Good boy. Goodness me. Get your legs in. 
that's it. I know you don't want to. I do. Oh, look at that. I know, that must be a bit sore for you, huh? Yeah. Is it a bit sore for you? I'll do my best to look after you, okay? You do have to stand up, though. You've got to stop this nonsense of raggling around everywhere. So, I'm just going to use some vinegar and water dilution to try and help with getting this dry. You may be wondering if it leaves a smell. It doesn't. I don't know how, but it mysteriously evaporates and goes someplace else. All right, here we go. Music, Dolly Sparkles. my battery died and I didn't hear it because I was blow drying so we're gonna put my little man's noggin on this side of the table I'm not gonna muzzle him even though he is likely to have a snippy snap at me for pulling on his little booty hairs but I'm definitely gonna go as easy as I can so I'm gonna use um, this guy those are all razor blades and um, just see Oh, how he tolerates this to start there we go so that's just going to kind of cut through some of this I'm sorry Ollie so this is dematting or matte breaking whichever you want to call it oh, honey, come on let me do it I am um, super duper running out of time to do this. Hang on, try hold still. Try hold still. Good boy. So I'm just going to mostly work on trying to get through the top layers, not so much the bottom. I know, I know, I'm sorry. You're doing great, matey moo. You're doing great. So these bits are all very sensitive for these doggies. Just trying to get rid of that dead hair. Break it up a little bit. Be careful of all the little flaps of skin in this area. Um, but that's chunks of hair that are coming out. You can see that the hair is really dull here. That's dead hair. It's not alive. It's old dead hair that hasn't come out for a long while. So his tail, unfortunately, is going to just have to be shaved off. So we get in here. Oh, sorry, Bella. So many little tangles, huh? Just get most of those out. So when we come through to using our detangling brush, we're not, um, trying to get through too much. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Okay, so put this off. So his tail, um, I could try and go through and do this with that, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna shave it off. That's gonna be the best thing for him. So what we have, I'm sorry, darling, is this kind of top section is going to be salvageable as a cover to all the bits we shaved from the bottom. And that blade is too short. Trusty number seven. Hopefully you don't mind a little clipper, huh? So we are, so the tail is just well stuffed but it is also wet and it's not going to dry. So we're just kind of going to make our way in here and work it out as we go. So yeah, this has definitely been trimmed before because it's all quite short already. And the tail must have been sort of saved uh, not so lucky this time. The tails are super sensitive to start with, um, and that is just too much hair to expect him to tolerate having brushed. So just gently going to work our way around the tail, sliding our clippers underneath those insanely huge <laughs> amount of matting. I'm sorry, mate. And doggy tails are sensitive. If you think about it, it's kind of a part of their spine, so, you know, understandable. There's a lot of weight, too, on this tail. It's insane. That's actually, that's gonna be like, I don't know, four, five hundred grams just there. It is wet, so that's probably contributing, but still. I mean, imagine when you go swimming. That's just weighing him down. There's grass seeds in here too. Oh, that's a lot. So just kind of looking for the end of his tail now. Oh, I'm sorry, my love. Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, you've got a long tail. I'm sorry, it's going to be a moody tail. Not getting hot, which is good. Uh, that's a good thing about clipping wet. There's the end of the tail there, so just ease over the end. Okay, so that there is his tail. Oh, is that working? There we go. That is his tail in one. One piece. Let's get rid of that. And all of that. Good golly. And that's what he's left with, the poor little lovey. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my... Sorry about my big head in the way. Detangling spray. Good boy. So that's an anti-static. I'm going to take this hat off because I can't see properly. Anti-static detangling spray. Which should help to ease through some of this. And I'm going to use my long bristled slicker. Which is very good for detangling. Good boy. So you can see that the hair is coming up shiny. That is good, that means it's all alive hair. It's living. And we can run our fingers through here. So that's that done. Come around to these feet. Now, he doesn't need these feathers on, uh, especially not after we've trimmed down his whole bootay. So, we're gonna get our shizzles. And snippy snip that down. Then we can run our comb through. Oh. Still a bit tangly. Not the best angle for me to work on, my love. You're holding your foot kind of funny. Alright. 
So now when we come through with our comb, just find the last of those tangles. Sorry, my darling. I'm gonna come through with this guy, gently of course. Let's see if we can't get the rest of this out. So we're just working over the base of that tail. So we do still need to be careful, but also it's still a bit wet. So some might just come out with the blow dryer once we turn them around. sticking on the same stuff but we're kind of more towards that side now so oh. there we go so again it's just dead hair that's coming out I know I know I know oh. keep moving through the rest of his coat that way please thank you my good man a bit tangly there so he does have some really super red skin and irritation so we do want to not be brushing the absolute life out of him if we can help it. Okay, just going to roughly tidy those up a little bit and I'll snip them right back. There's not actually a lot of hair left under here because of that um, irritation that I was just mentioning. I don't know if you guys can see, but definitely, um, I'll just take this off real quick and show you what I'm talking about. So, hello, my darling, sweet boy. Lift this up. Can you see, see under there? She's had some hair fall out. Mum is aware of it and she's actively seeking assistance from her vet to take care of that. So we just have to be gentle as we work through all of that. So, just tidying up those. Oh, we can do it. Little feathers. I don't wanna take them all off. Just tidy them up. So if we can run our comb through, which we can, we've got all those knots out. Same with this area. Good job. Through here. So we do have this little patch here, which will be tricky. No matter what I do, it is um, a very sensitive area to work in, but also he doesn't want to stand up to let me do it. So not easy. And of course his ear mats are quite Solid, of course. Solid ear mats. Come over here. Come on. My next client is going to be here any minute now. Oh. 
right, guys, I'll pop back in just a minute. Get my doggy. Okie dokie. Just got my next little papa. He's a bit of a nervy boy, but he's in his little bed having a rest until um, it's his turn. And I've just messaged this guy's mum to let him know that we're going to take a little bit longer just to get through everything here. So I'm just going to quickly do the inside of his legs, get rid of anything sticking out there, which is nothing. That's all good there. So we're going to come through and try our darndest to get in here gently, very gently. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm just going to try and keep him up as long as I can while we just work through. I know, I know. Pulling through those tangles very gently. I may use that razor brush but I'd really prefer not to with this flap of skin here. Or at least work some of the hair down away from the skin before I do. So, and this is why that's right up against his skin there. So what I'm actually gonna do, that's quite a chunk. Let's just cut it out. Okay, cause that's a bit of a chunk and it's so close to that flap of skin that we really don't wanna nick with anything. So I'm just holding the skin so we're not pulling too much. And just slowly pulling that through. You have done an amazing job, Ollie. You're a very, very good boy. Oh, I know, I know. Hang in there. So um, definitely regular brushing for these guys. Avoids all of this, which is a lot for an older boy. A regular brush every couple of days would be much kinder than this for him. Here a little bit good old floof of hair popping out there so you can see now he's all um, nice and black and shiny ideally I would love to go over him with a rake but that really can be quite damaging to the skin he does not have a very thick coat so there's not a lot to cushion the rake going through but he's looking good and shiny so I'm not overly concerned about that so now what I'm going to do is hang him back up. Get all this hair out of here. Oh, that's a lot. So that's just dead coat that's come out. And we've really, we've salvaged quite a lot for this side. I think the other side was the side he wasn't having, uh, letting me have a good go at in the bath. I'm just going to grab these little chunky guys and snip off some of that dead hair. Not too much, we don't want to make him look overdone. Still keeping a fairly natural kind of finish to him. Very good sir. And try and do these without giving, making him uncomfortable. You can tell he's got sore old hips. My doggy is 10 nine ten years old and uh, she's definitely got sore old hips and i would not do a whole lot of grooming on her just enough to keep her clean and tidy there we go that tidies up that grinchy foot easy does it good boy i know no nobody likes having their feet he's played with That's a bit of a mat there, so I'm just going to take that chunk out. Can I have this? Thank you. He's much more steady on, like, with holding his front feet up than he is his back. Oh, one moment, please. Just a moment. Oh, we found a tangle in there. 
Where are you hiding that? You're hiding it from me. I know, I know. And I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit now. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't be going nowhere, sir. That's it. That's enough of that. Okay, that's that side done, all except for up here. Okay, we do have a bit to work on there. But once he's sitting down, we'll let him relax and we'll do that all in one go. So, getting all this hair out, staring at my lovely big head. We can turn you around. Put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, oh you turn faster than me. Oh, no, you <laughs> could turn around. Damn my short little T-Rex arms. This way, this way. You turn better than I thought you would, to be honest. Okay, stay there. Get this going. I'm on my tiptoes here, you guys, and this is like, I don't even know how high that is. It's not very high, maybe 20, 2100, 2200? I don't know, husband can put some letters, numbers in there. I'm not very tall, you guys. There we go, good sir. All right. We'll be back with my hat. Poof, hat, it's on. Okay. Dolly Sparkles. Cue the music. Pretty. <laughs> We're definitely getting there and Ollie is being an absolute superstar. Aren't you? Yes you are. You say I'm a good boy. Get some of this on here. That's just my anti-static detangling spray again. See what our brush can get through. So bear in mind I haven't shaved here yet, but there's quite a clump there that probably just going to have to shave that out. And it doesn't actually seem to mind a good brush where there's no tangles, which is very nice. Certainly nice for me. So again, we're not worrying too much about that area. We'll come back to it. This is all doing really well here. We are going to trim out these toots. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope so. Things crossed. Just take some of that hair out of there. So that's a lot of loose hair in there. Definitely have just a bit of a tangle here. This, as I said, this slicker is amazing for sort of detangling. So with some luck, we can just get through it with this guy. Pretty good, we're getting there. We do have to be careful with his sensitive skin not to overbrush on the skin. So that is a added little element to everything. Good job, mate. Very good job. Okay, let's come in here. Yeah, so do you see that big bulk there? I I've taken it out on the other side and we'll do the same here. You would just do the same.
let's just see how that goes first. So you haven't taken much out, just that big chunky bit that just didn't want to move for me. All right, that's better. We're starting to get some good movement there now. Very good at picking up anything you missed. It's definitely something there that's not coming out. It's definitely not coming out. Come on now. Ollie is again just being an amazing little boy, aren't you, buddy? What a bloody superstar. Hey? What a superstar. Tidy this up a little bit. Again, nothing too crazy. Just get those nasty little ends off. We're not trying to give him like a super tight line where he, I do do that for some dogs where they've got that beautiful outline all the way around. Uh, but that's not what we're going for with this guy. I'm just gonna call it river dog chic. Tidy, scruffy. So with any luck as this grows in, mum will be able to do more um, brushing for him and we'll just talk about when he gets out of the river or wherever he's going swimming. Um, that we get him nice and dry, give him a good towel dry, give him a couple of hours to air dry and then um, get in there with the brush and brush everything. Because it, it's not so much the fact that he's going swimming, it's not so much the fact that he's taking a little while to dry, it is that once he's dry these hairs aren't being separated. They're all sort of bunched up and then that tangling just gets worse and worse and worse and worse from there. I'm gonna have this. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm gonna get that big chunky mat out from between his toes. So that's quite a chunk out of there, but we just really needed to get that matting out. So that's why we've gone a little bit shorter there. Trim around the back a little bit. There we go. So, yeah, he's quite naked from behind, but at least there's no tangles there. And uh, it's gonna make it much easier for mum to try and maintain from now on. Cause you could see like there was a build up that had gotten worse and worse over time. Um, they're obviously brushing because this front end was really not too bad but just not able to work out quite what to do with that back. So we've got nice, beautiful, shiny coat going on here. Looking amazing. So again, I'm gonna come into this bit here. Oh, actually we might do his back leg first, our front leg. Jeez, I'm getting you all mixed around. I really should take this hat off cause I can't see. So that's quite a big hunk of matting. It's a very big hunk of matting. There, that's off from there. There's a few more bits. So what we're gonna do is just roughly kind of just edge that all out there. Grab our chunkers and chunk out a whole hunk. Oh, that was bad. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Get some bulk off there of all that stray hair. Now we can brush a little bit more. Thank you, darling. I know, I know. I'll be gentle. Ah, ah, ah. Shh, 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 shh. All right, put that tongue away, please. Not necessary. Try 
try and get that a nice line. Oh, honey, honeykins, come on. Ba, ba, ba. Kind of blend that back a little bit. There we go. The rest will tidy up with our curves. First, I'm taking this hat off. It's hot in this hat too. It is nice not to have all the hair in my face though. Oh yeah, it's hot in that hat. Okie dokie. So, for this part, see a lot of it you can just gently kind of yank out. Oh, that's a bit there. So this is underneath, so I'm just going to push back the good hair, find the base of that mat, and sweep it out. So it's not a lot, but it's just preventing everything else from getting brushed out nicely. Okay. Grab our anti-static detangler. Give him a good little spray. Good boy. See what comes out first with our slicker. That is pretty good. Look at that, such a beautiful baby. So you can see all that sort of dead hair that's coming out and we're just being left with this beautiful shiny coat. It's a shame we couldn't save his whole booty. Uh, but really we didn't cut that much out to be honest. So um, I think worth it. That's my vote. For this guy anyway. Uh, but bear in mind that he'd already had quite a bit of trimming done back there already um, so there was nowhere near as much hair in there as what you would normally expect. All right darling. I can grab my trusty little chair here. I'm going to turn this way a little bit. Oh there we go. There you go. What a bad. Huh? You are so beautiful. So um, he, this is where he gets all that redness and his skin looks um, inflamed. So we're just going to take it easy here. I'm not going to just brush the absolute shit out of him. So I am moving the brush a lot, but I'm not actually like digging down to the skin here, which is instinctively what I want to do the way my hands move. There we go. There we go. So he is really coming up just absolutely beautifully. Oh. Oh. Look at that 
beautiful little chest. You're a lion. Are you a pretty little lion boy? You say no, silly. I'm a border collie. Oh, we're going to have a video without husband in it. Sorry, Dale. You're not going to be YouTube famous today. <coughs> not today. It's my turn to be a superstar. No, it's your turn. It's your turn to be a superstar, really. Just work through these last little bits here. There is a bit, quite a bit going on here in this um, neck and ear area, so take that off. So we've just got this big hunk of matting here. Let's just do a quick adjustment. Bring this down a little bit. Boop. Bring this guy around. There we go. Give it a little bit of a better view, not completely. Turn this way for me, darling. So we've got these big chunks back here of mat. So just slowly, I'm gonna go to the base of the mat, get underneath of it. Very gentle. Uh, one, because the skin is obviously quite sensitive. Uh, and two, because, oh, we don't wanna hurt him. Not at all. I don't think that's what I was originally gonna say, but um, my brain moved on before I finished the sentence. There's another one. <laughs> another one. Oh, Misty, you can feel so much better. Little, 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 little. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Let me in there. There's still more, okay? Like a good desert. I feel like that actually feels really good for you and you're very happy about it. Oh, beautiful thank you by the way. Alright, let me get in here. So you can try with this slicker. You've not a big brush to have in this small area, but it really is very good at pulling through that dead hair. So if you do have a big long coated hairy doggo like this. Um, the areas you need to focus on for your brushing are friction points. So wherever two parts of the body or collars, harnesses, leads, bedding, all that sort of stuff, wherever they are making contact over and over and over again and causing friction, that is where your hair, doggy's hair, not your hair, but if you were doing that, your hair too would mat up. Um, that is why your doggy's hair is getting all matted up in these areas is because there's just constant movement and rubbing together and everything just gets staticky and tangled up and turns into big knots and mats. So if you're going to brush your doggy only a little bit, brush their booties where they sit, their bellies which are rubbing underneath their legs and on the ground, behind the ears, and the chest where they get water drips when they're drinking and food when they're eating. If you are only gonna brush your dog for five minutes, don't brush their back. Cause you would have done that over and over and over again and missed all the parts that really, really needed it. Okay, that's really good there. Very happy, oh look at that. I am super happy with that. You saying hello to everyone? Say hi, say give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up for Ollie. Hit that thumbs up button, friends. Let's give Ollie a great big thank you for being such an incredibly patient boy today. Incredibly patient. So beautiful. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get the notifications when we post another video. And jump in the comments and say hi. Tell me where you're from. If you have subscribed, welcome to the fur family. Come this way. Oh, 
good boy. Let's have a look here. So not as much on the side. So remember this is our ear with the hematoma that I was um, talking about. So it is quite deformed uh, with not a lot of hair growing there. And he does get ear infections there and uh, he's a bit sensitive about it. So just gonna go super easy. Go I can't sing. You guys sing. Sing that for me. I love that song. It is in my playlist at the moment. And the children are probably sick of hearing me sing it in the car. Whoops. So trying to be just super careful. Not actually get onto that ear. Just around it. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Get a little bit of spray. And you don't want to get these detanglers in the dog's eyes, okay? They are safe for use on dogs, but they do explicitly state in the instructions not to get it in the doggy's eyes. And to rinse, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Rinse well um, with water if you do. So obviously it does make them more than a tad bit uncomfortable if that happens. We do have to finish that front foot too, sir. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Oh, a little bit there. So you guys, if you um, want to know if you've done good enough with your brushing, do the comb test. If your comb goes through easily, there we go. You know that you've done enough. And uh, if it doesn't, you'll know what you need to fix, which is for me, this bit right here. I know, Ollie. So close. So, so, so close. Can go oh no there is a mat in there right deep 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 there we go let me get that little sucker out for you there we go it wasn't much but it was in there and it would only get worse and uh, look at that see sneaky little sucker back you come oh so come on come on come on come on all right so we are definitely over time, which is no surprise here, because that was quite a lot to get through. May I have this foot please, sir? Thank you. Just a floof up these little Grinchies. Take that off. Again, we're not going for a super like teddy bear style look. We are just trimming things down, keeping him Oh, roughy and scruffy, but tidy. Hang in there, hang in there. Very good. Very good boy. Okay, pause please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, he's such a sweet baby. I really, really, really love Border Collies. I don't own one uh, because I would never be able to keep physically active enough for a Border Collie to get enough exercise. And for me personally, they would be in the yard being destructive um, and not living their best doggy lives. So I have a lazy potato uh, dash hound who, I mean, she loves sniffing and finding things. That's good. That's good fun. And a little bit of a walk. My old girl is happy to go for a little wonder, but not too far. And um, a toy poodle is happy to be a potato. He gets the zoomies up around the house. Uh, but he's more than happy to lay on the couch and sleep all day until somebody's ready to play the kids definitely keep him busy you're okay i'm just gonna trim these little back ones good boy
Julie. What are you doing? You're just having a big breather, huh? Are you excited? You're nearly done. We've got one toots. Go this way. Go this way. Round you go. Oh, good boy. You okay for me to hang on to that? Thank you, sir. Boop. 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 A little bit more there. Last one. Oh. oh. What are you wriggling away for? That's it. What a little gem cake you are. Mm -hmm. You are. You are a darling. You want to shake? Do you do shakies? Shake. No? Okay. That's all right. Let's get you finished. Pop this guy away. Get some of this hair off here. Oops, I better turn the water heater on for our next puffer. Who I'm going to have to move very quickly on, but fortunately he's not a lot of work. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, my camera activated that really cool feature where it just completely overheats. <laughs> Thank you, GoPro. Cool skill. All right, this is our gorgeous boy. Let's take this off here. So um, while I was just letting that battery cool down and changing it over to a new fresh one, um, we've just given him a spray in our pink musk cologne, quick brush over, and um, what else did I do? Oh, I tied it off the table. Come here. Come here. Oh, mister. Can I have a cuddle? You want to give me cuddles? Oh, where are you going, Molly? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're just getting in position for a snug. Yes. Come here. What a good boy. Mwah. He is a darling. He's looking fabulous. Um, as before, if you haven't liked, hit that like button. Give us a big thumbs up for Ollie. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. That will make me super happy. And um, say hi in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And we'll see you guys all again next time. Bye.